David Gavin's my name, 25, and uh, we're making here, we're making about 190 cows all year round. I'm um, on 100, 120 acres, half and half, half owned, half rented. Um, just feeding calves here now at the moment. We've been back in calves, so we, we do calves from September into September to the beginning of December and again we started in second week of February to the in the May. Yes, we're going for sale all, replacing the big head and pulls be sold, everything else is sold. Um, we recently put in installed these two robotics uh, Lele astronauts. Um, I suppose we're looking into robot milking for the last five or six years. But uh, our conventional parlor wasn't that old, so we were kind of humming and hawing about it. We weren't too sure, but um, you know, we took the we bit the bullet this time and we went for two Lele astronaut A5s. Um, I suppose we went for robotic milking due to the information they give. To give some serious information compared to a conventional parlor. To give uh, you have your cell count, your fat, proteins, and um, we hope to be up and running in around mid January. So, um, we're, being, we're waiting on a, a bull tank at the moment, so it has to be delivered yet. So um, start mid January. We hope to be fully up and running by at least mid February. Anyways, give some time for the spring heifers to come in and introduce them into us. Just probably hold on to the old parlor for a couple of months. Just to, if there's any layover of a few cows, we might have a few stubborn ones that wouldn't stare, so we can meet them on there.
So the start of today is actually the end of a journey. So going back a while ago, I would have met Deirdre and Michael and they were considering their body clinical option. Well, they weren't 100% sure one. Was it going to work for them? Was it the right option? How to be involved? So I would have arranged for them to visit a number of farms doing you know, something similar. And then when they liked what they seen and they got a bit more comfortable, we got our yard planner in, we surveyed the site, we developed a number of plans and we got to a point where we presented a plan that they were happy to do and we felt it worked really well. So we're starting actually with 130 cows today, all seen Frisians. So it's going to be a busy couple of days to get them all in. So the plan is we're going to have guys here for the first four to five days. Just help the client get used to the robots, help them understand how to use the information. And the plan is come Thursday, Friday, most of the cows run through themselves and the guys will be very comfortable and obviously we have our support team on call at Phantom Arises. But what really is a huge labour saving is the automatic draft, the automatic drafting system is part of, 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 of the product. So any cow that has an issue, be it nearly signs of mastitis, high cell count, even a cow that's in heat, down in milk, not chewing the cud, she can be drafted to one side. So when the guys come down in the morning, the cows that need attention will be pulled out there in front of them and one of the first things they'll do as part of the morning routine is deal with the cows that need attention. So they have a decent specification robot, there are other options available that I didn't feel was of value to them and they agreed with me. Um, so the spec they have is, is you know, it's fairly standard for um, a grazing farm in, 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 a, in Ireland and it's fairly commonplace for most of our customers, the type of specification that the cabins only have. Yeah, so first cow coming in here, first milking, she can press start and get her started off. She's milking in all four quarters, so we can put the on the next screen. Now once it's on that, we can hit start and the robot should go in and do an automatic scan. It should pick up all four teeth reasonably quickly. Once it has all four teeth, then the arm should make an attachment. If the arm is a little bit nervous or anxious, seat, we might just have to go and reconnect, manually line up the arm. Reconnect or just go a bit too far back since the first open. So what we can do is we can knock off the auto alignment for this cow. We can bring it down, we can take, we can start driving the arm ourselves, move it into a better placement, bring it up and once basically we have it visibly seeing the four teeth, give it a hit start connection again, and the arm should do its thing now. Line filling in, down a bit there in the right front, it hasn't let anything down on the other three quarters yet. And it's not that long since she was last milk, so we might have a whole pile left rear is going now. Hope she does too and join us. So what we have here is the Lady Time for Cows program. So this is where all the information is passed back in from the robots. So what we have here along the left hand side is all of the farmers favourite reports. So health reports, mastitis, cell count, production. Over on the right hand side then we have all of the dials. So we can see just in startup, we're starting to get all the dials revving up. So we can see the milk production is coming up, cow production is coming up. So that's all going to start filling up and levelling out over the next week or 10 days while cows get adjusted into the system. So over on the left hand side then, if come back here we can look at the cow daily production report. So what that is basically giving you an indication of every cow, what yields the cows are sitting at, what stage of lactation is she and what lactation is she in. 
We also have then the total amount of meal she has ate yesterday. So again, that's all going to start populating up from tomorrow on. Over on the right hand side then we have the cell count indication. So you can see every cow here, the top cow is at 8,000. Down along here, the cows here in red are any cows sitting over 500,000 in cell count. So we're getting real live up to date data on cell count, making it easy to make a decision with what to do with that cow on farm. What we are missing in this report is the amount of kilos of milk solids those cows are doing which is going to be activated in about a week's time once the startup period is out of the way. So we should be able to get butter fat, protein and lactose percentages and then how much total kilos of milk solids these cows are producing on a day to day basis.